The budget process, which is now officially underway, can be all-consuming. But Trenton has a lot more on its mind nowadays. You have the growing tempest over hiring at the Schools Development Authority, which could become the next chapter of the still-unfinished Katie Brennan hearings, and now the 11th hour of the legal cannabis battle. Six votes shy, at least in the Senate, the governor is on the offensive. Some of his vote targets were at the Senate Budget Committee meeting today. And from the sound of it, they remain unconvinced. It's going to evolve over time. There's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, I have been opposed to it. I think it's a societal change. Uh, I'm looking at all of the merits, uh, the pros and cons of this. Uh, but at this point in time, I, I believe this will happen over. A, it'll be a societal change. Uh, more, more states will come on board. Um, I, I just think we need to take our time on this. So you're not ready for a yes vote? Uh, at this point in time, I'm, I'm keeping my options open. I have concerns. Uh, I have public safety concerns. I have concerns on how this is going to affect um, our children. And, you know, I, we've been hearing a lot about the uh, um, behavioral issues that can come from this. So um, I'm still considering it, but, you know, right now I'm not there. So you're right now still no? Yes. To be clear, that's yes meaning no. Senator Nitsa Cruz Perez didn't want to talk on camera about her vote, but she has been adamant in the past about the ravages of drugs on her district in Camden. It's a safe bet that she is leaning no, and getting her to the yes column is going to be a heavy lift. All the lawmakers we talked to today say they've been getting calls from the governor and others, but it's not clear that any of it is having much of an impact, at least at the moment.